This trailer might not look like much from the outside, but step inside this ride and you are entering the largest mobile STEM lab of its kind in the country. The 53-foot-long MX Lab has about 1,000 square feet of space and can accommodate up to 40 students. It teaches lessons on biology, chemistry, and environmental science, and it's equipped with all the necessary tools to give future scientists real-world hands-on experience. The entire process is called gel electrophoresis, and we make a gel to separate different DNA molecules. Particularly in Montgomery County, um, many of the employers, many of the jobs in the county are STEM-based, science, technology, engineering-based, even traditional careers that you may not think are STEM actually have a bit of math or science in there. So students to have a, that kind of background, it's pretty critical for them to get a, a quality career. Since 2003, the Maryland Bio Foundation has been providing STEM education to communities across the state. Starting this year, this new lab will travel to 35 different high schools across the state, reaching about 10,000 students. At a recent open house, students were invited to learn about DNA, biofuel, and lactase. And it's going to go in your other tube, the last one. Levi Kahn is a junior at Richard Montgomery High School who says he will pursue a career in STEM. This is a lot of basic knowledge that a lot of people take for granted. And like, we just looked at like lactase and how it's in your body and like a lot of people don't realize that. So it's cool. He added lactase. Really intense. Remember what that was? Yeah, and it broke down. Yeah, exactly. Yep, it breaks down lactose. Amanda Rodriguez, Michael, and her brother Ian thought the same thing. I'm very into science, so I try and pay attention with the labs so that I can do whatever an experiment when I'm on my own. In this lab, students observe lactase breaking down uh, the sugar found in cow's milk, which is lactose. So we use glucose test strips to test uh, unknown milk samples right off the bat. And now I discovered how you can test to see if a different type of milk has glucose in it or not by putting lactase in them. And only the dairy milk that has lactase in it will show up on the test tube with a certain color to show that it has lactose in it, which is kind of cool. It was interesting. It was cool to see how they put it together and stuff. The county council provides grant funding to the Maryland Bio Foundation and is a big supporter of upping the ante when it comes to STEM education. Council members Nancy Florine and Sydney Katz stopped by to get a look at this flagship mobile laboratory, and both were duly impressed. This, the, the open house is going to take two seconds, but it's like a, a, you know, a little trailer here. And then when I got inside, it's like a city inside here. It's so big. So students should will be very, very excited. And, and candidly, I'm very excited to be here as well. You know, it's one thing to read about this stuff. It's one thing to watch it. It's another thing to actually do it. It is really very exciting. I have to go see how my my dye is doing over there. Pretty close. We may let close. it go about two or three more minutes. So we have to wait. I hate waiting to see if I have found an uh, uh, an illegal shark fin or not. Well, you can see the pink lines, but that's what this is all about: the excitement of discovery and understanding the tools that you need to to make things happen and to change the world. 10% of the students who visit the lab come from Montgomery County Public Schools. Mm, okay, <laughs> done. All right. And for many of those kids, it's the first time they have had the opportunity to work with this high-tech equipment. And they may not have realized how simple science could be, that they're just tools that are being used to answer problems and to answer questions. And that with those answers, you can solve other problems, uh, in whether it be in the environment or in personal health or in um, ecology, because they have a, a biofuels lab. It's, it's very interesting to the kids. I've never had a student, no matter what their level, who didn't come out of the lab super excited and really glad that they had participated. Well, this is about hands-on science. We want to get a piece of equipment, whether a micro pipette or some sort of equipment into, into students' hands, hands-on technology, let them actually see what it's like to work in a STEM career. Hopefully they'll get excited about it, want to learn more about it, and then move on from there. And even for the smallest of future scientists, this lab could be, well, a game changer. But I think he's interested in hockey at the moment, a little bit more than science. But this is his first time with a pipette. This is his first time changing colors, so I think this is going to be a memorable moment for him.